This is fishing. This is like fishing in the <laughs> sky. This is probably the most complicated kite I've ever seen. It's really actually pretty easy. I got into the kite flying so that I could do the camera work. So um, this is all it takes, just these two bags? Well, yeah, there's a lot of tiny little things here. I got a little gizmo here. Tells me um, how fast our wind is blowing. Should be enough. I mean, it's a little on the light side for the camera that I want to fly, but uh, we'll be okay. This is my remote control. I get a little preview of the, the photo that I'm about to take. I use the knob to turn the camera left and right. Okay. And I use this lever here to go to move to point it up and down. Why might someone choose to fly a kite over a, over a drone? A lot of the drones, you've got flight time of 20 minutes, maybe less. Here, I can keep it up and just follow whatever light changes. Why do you think kites aren't attended by the the same kind of uh, controversy that you see uh, around drones? I mean, the the aerial cameras. I don't know. Yeah, we we might be getting your picture, and you don't necessarily see it right off, but there's no there's no stealth component. I mean, it's a very large kite. Um, it's pretty obvious to see what's going on. And it's pretty easy to find me, too. With drones, you don't know who's flying. They could be anywhere. In terms of the sort of safety concerns with drones, um, crashing into airplanes and stuff, are, are these concerns that also exist in, for, for kites and the kite community? Yeah, yeah, I mean, the kites can go down. Um, and if you're not attaching your rig securely, um, you know, things can fall off. So was it hard to, to master uh, kite aerial photography? It takes persistence. Persistence and patience. You get so excited, there's something that you want to do, you want to get out there. Certainly. And it's hard to uh, wait for the, uh, for the good winds. What, what, do you, what would you say are some of the, the biggest uh, challenges? Learning about wind and learning about kites. So now you can stay like this. As, so yeah, as you want, I could really. do this, and now I have my hands free to um, attach the cap rig. And this is and really what makes turns it from a kite into a, a tool for aerial photography. Yes. Right? Yeah. This How is we, this is crucial. Why don't you grab the reel? Okay. And you, yeah, just grab the hoop. It couldn't lift a person off the ground. This one, no. Good you would know. need those windsurfing kites to do that. I push the button to, uh, to get the preview, and then if I like what I see, then I can take the picture with this. I think I'm taking terrible photos. <laughs> oh, that's spectacular. Oh my god. <laughs> Did you get a bridge? Yep. Okay, okay, let's take a couple. So I'm just going to bring it in. We'll get it close. Okay. And then once it's close, then you can grab onto it. Okay. So, yeah, just grab, grab it by the clip. So that's how it's done? Yeah. Kite aerial photography, one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> exactly. Um.